Hi guys, welcome back. This is uh, part two of how to trade Forex for beginners. Um, talk a little bit more this time about some more advanced concepts. Um, first thing I want to talk about is leverage. So leverage is essentially uh, how much money a platform will let you borrow versus how much money that you actually have within the platform. So here I'm back on my Avestopedia um, practice account here. And so I'm, I'm in this, this high leverage, high risk, high reward um, what do they call it, a uh, challenge, where the, it allows 400 to 1 leverage. So although it only gives you $10,000, you're actually able to trade up to 400 times that amount. So obviously with, with higher, higher risk and higher reward, um, you know, comes bigger losses and bigger gains. So this is obviously just practice. So I just want to show you guys a little bit. Um, about how this works here. So I've been looking uh, recently at the Australian dollar versus the US dollar at this chart here. And then I have my secondary chart right here that I've been looking at. Again, it's the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. You can look in the past hour, past 30 minutes, and the past minute. So so I think it's kind of on this upward trend right now. So I think I'm the the bet I'm going to take is uh, going to I'm going to sell the U.S. dollar, the Australian dollar against the um, U.S. dollar, meaning that I would think that the Australian dollar is going to depreciate against the U.S. dollar over the next few minutes or hour or so. So I want to come down here and select sell. And so the quantity I want. So although I only have ten thousand dollars, you can see over here in this account, my leverage allowed is. 400 to 1. So if I wanted to say it, the price is, is, is about 80 cents. So if I wanted to trade like my entire um, book load here, I could do $10,000. But since it allows 400 to 1 leverage, um, instead of $10,000, I can actually do $4 million. No, sorry. <laughs> $4 four hundred thousand dollars so that'll be just below my allowed leverage so okay so it was executed so as you can see here my um, my margin oh no I didn't do that correctly hold on here so four hundred thousand units Okay, so I'm not actually using that much margin right now. So let's actually go back in here and see how much this would allow us to do. So I have 10,000 margin remaining. So actually, you know, I am using most of it. So let's just leave this trade here and see what happens uh, over the next few minutes or hour or so. And I will come back and talk to you guys. Okay, so my original... Um, Analysis is actually incorrect. So I, I was actually able to trade up to 4 million uh, units of this currency. So I went back in and I initiated another trade. Looks like it's not too profitable right now, but let's uh, see how this goes and I'll come back and join you guys in a few minutes. So as you can see here now, I'm using most of my margin. I'm using 8,700 8, 8, 8, of it. Um, again, it's 4 to 1. So that's where the 4 million comes in here. And that's why I only have about 1,200 margin remaining. So I'll check back in with you guys in a few minutes and see uh, what's happening here. All right, so we literally it's been about 10, 15 minutes now <clears throat> since I executed the trade. And you can see now that my profit here, because of the leverage that I'm utilizing, I'm actually down 2300 bucks, And that's only with a $10,000 account. So because such high leverage is allowed here, you, you, your, your losses and your gains are maximized that much. So... That's why you have to be extremely careful in, in utilizing leverage. And, and most most platforms will not let you use this kind of leverage unless you have really good credit with the with the platform. Something more like 10 to 1 is more common. But here you see in just 15 minutes I've lost almost a quarter of my, my initial starting amount of $10,000. So being down $2,500 in about 10, 15 minutes, that's, uh, that sort of shows how risky this, this can be. So I'll let it sit here a little longer. It looks like it was actually down about three thousand dollars earlier, and it's, it's rebounded a little bit. So, and again, I'm I'm looking for the currency pair to depreciate. So I want the the Australian dollar to actually lose value compared to the U.S. dollar. 
Um, so I'm just sitting here watching this chart, and I'll check back with you guys in a few, and hopefully our um, our luck will turn a little bit here. So, all right, so check back in with you guys now. It's uh, it's been about ten more minutes, and the exact opposite happened of what we wanted to happen here. So we're, we're in a pretty bad position here. So starting with ten thousand dollars, we made this really highly leveraged trade, um, and we've lost almost half or actually a little over half of our money already. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, close these uh, trades out here. And again, you do that by doing the opposite of what you originally did. So be buying back this currency now since we had it shorted earlier. So again, this is highly leveraged. So it's anything's any loss or any gain is going to be totally magnified. So as you can see, we started with $10,000 and after those horrible trades were, uh, down to about just over five thousand dollars so maybe check out another currency pair here see if we can uh, find something it looks like the, the US dollar because of it like because I see that the, the Australian dollar is appreciating against the US dollar it looks like the US dollar is losing uh, losing value in the market right now so let's try to take advantage of that in a different way so let's go to one here where the US dollar is the uh, secondary pair so this is the, the British pound to the dollar um, and so I think we're gonna buy in this case because again it looks like the US dollar is losing value in the market so I'm gonna buy as much as I can here um, again we only have five thousand something dollars now so it's gonna be 1.3 uh, so I can probably do about three million that allows me uh, nope so two million still a little too much so again we lost a lot of money on that trade so there so we'll do about 1.5 million oh yeah it's one point it's a dollar and thirty cents so submit that trade here so again using almost all of our margin um, so it's going to be highly um, magnified the losses and the uh, or the profit so I'll leave this for a little bit come check in with you guys hopefully we'll be able to make some of this money back um, this just shows you know the forex market how how risky it is and how how much how on the opposite side how much money you can make um, but again this is this is a, a extreme amount of leverage and I think that's actually what this challenge is called extreme leverage yeah extreme leverage challenge so uh, this is not a normal situation. Uh, most platforms will not allow you to do this with just $10,000 trading over millions of dollars in, in currency. So we'll leave this here for a second, and I'll check back in with you guys in maybe 10, 15 minutes and see if uh, maybe we can take advantage of the, of the U.S. dollar here um, losing value in the market. So I'll, uh, we'll see in, in a few minutes here. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes now since my last trade, and it's been up and down. It's been about... It's been up about 10 pips and down about 10 pips now, but um, now it's about about even down a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out and uh, summarize this stuff for you. Um, so pretty much the lesson here is that trading with a lot of leverage is really dangerous. Um, yes, you can make a lot of money, but you can also lose a lot of money. As you see here in less than two hours, we I started with $10,000. I'm now under $5,000. So I've lost about 5200 bucks. Uh, in, in about an hour or so. And again, I think this statement right here is the most important. It says, forest trading involves significant risk of loss. That is very significant. Um, and yeah, that, that's the lesson for, uh, for this video. So stay tuned. Part three coming to you soon, and uh, we'll talk then. Thanks.